All right, this is a no fluff, no BS video. In the next 10 minutes, I'm going to show you how you can create 100 plus or even more UGC AI ads. And I'm going to use two tools to do that. The first one is Gumloop. It's an AI automation platform that I've been talking about in all my other videos as well. And I do all my research related automations using Gumloop. You can use any other AI automation platform like Make or Anyden or whichever uh, platform you like, whichever platform you are comfortable with. And I personally use Gumloop because they have integration with one of the tools, one of the ad generation tools that I use. It's called Arcads. So the second tool is Arcads that helps you generate UGC AI ads with such ease they've got so many different actors in so many different situations that it gives you a lot many options to play around with so these are the tools that we're using you should note that when it comes to ad creation 80 percent of it is research and how you're going to create your ads how you are going to write your scripts what the creative is going to look like so that 80 percent research is going to be automated using gumloop and then the 20 percent which is the crucial 20 percent that is the actual ad production task that's going to be automated using arc ads so let's see how you can create these many ads all right so the use case that i've picked to create 100 plus ugc ads for is a skincare brand Let's say my competitors are, you know, these brands, Estee Lauder, Rare, Beauty, Ordinary, Cerafil, all of these skincare brands. I've got the Facebook profile URLs and the brand. Now, all I need to do is uh, I'm going to conduct competitor research. So first thing that I've done here is I'm reading the Google Sheets. So this particular Google Sheets link is added in this Google Sheets reader node. And uh, the main task, the main automation starts at this particular point. I'm actually capturing the brand and I am capturing the Facebook profile URL. So once this is captured, the second task is to extract all the ads that these brands are running. So I've got the two input nodes. I'm capturing the Facebook page URL. The page URL is then passed on to my Facebook ad library scraper. So Gumloop again, you know, if you search, Facebook ad library scraper, they have this node that you can simply drag and drop. You can configure it for the kind of ads that you want to scrape from whichever page uh, that you would specify. So the profile URL goes at the top, then ad country, most of these brands. So let's say I'm doing this research for uh, a US based brand. So ad country I've specified as US. These are all the fields that you also have on the ads library page. So media type, I'm only analyzing videos here. Uh, you have options to do research on images, memes, image and memes, and so on and so forth. Then the platforms where that ad is running, Facebook, Instagram, Audience Network, Messenger, you have all sorts of options. And for each ad, I want to extract the ad media URL, body text, star date, library ID platforms. So I'm scraping all the ads, basically along with the, the information for each ad. That's what this Facebook ad library scraper is doing. So once I have the video link, so this video, the media URL is actually going into this analyze single ad. So here I have passed, you can see this particular subflow. This is another analysis flow that I've created. This is accepting ad media URLs. So all the ads that I've scraped, all of those URLs, the video URLs are going to go into this analyze single ad subflow let's see what this is doing this is a pretty straightforward you know automation and i'll pick the media url from the input and since it's a video i am going to analyze this video using the analyze video node so this node is using a gemini 2.0 flash model from google and uh, gumloop offers this as a node directly so you can see analyze video if you drag and drop this one here and provide the prompt along with the you know video link where your video resides it'll analyze the video as per the prompt i have asked it to you know look at the transcript and divide it into three different sections so i'm analyzing all my competitors ads and i'm trying to capture what their hook is what the body is and what the cta they are using that's all so i have asked it to give me the complete transcript divided into three sections hook content and cta that's all and then it is passed as output so if I go back to my extract ads flow here, this analyze single ad, 
it the url the media url goes into this node and the analysis comes out and gets written into my google sheets writer so if i go back to my google sheets you see the competitor ads i'll get the brand names here i'll get the body text body text is nothing but the caption the that the page is using then platform where that ad is live start date when the page started running that ad transcript ad library id ad media url i'm capturing all this information if i want to do like you know uh, further any other research i'll be able to pick this up quickly from here so let's quickly run this flow i'll start off from the orchestrator the first step is to capture all the transcripts scrape all the ads that these pages are running so i'll start this flow save and run let's see it'll take some time it'll scrape all the ads from the ad library and uh, we'll write all the transcripts here so you can see here extract ads for four brands that i have in my list so i have got these four brands and the flow is actually running for these four brands all right so this has run successfully now if i go back here and look at my competitor ads there you go okay so i've got a number of ads okay cetaphil i think is not running any like video ads uh, there is no audio in those videos that's why so some of these brands they run they add some music and there is just like a static image so uh that gets captured in video ads but there's no transcript that's why it has uh you know returned empty so i'll just delete the first few and then i have 45 ads i've got 45 ads from these three brands rare beauty ordinary steel order okay great and if i look at the transcript of each if you missed getting the new rare beauty blush the first time around it's coming back okay the content and then the cta is simply the date for this one okay and then other one this is i think same okay sunset blush okay okay let's look at okay i'm in paris i'm going to go to the dinner so on and so forth content they are delicious and your new restaurants okay undertone okay they're talking about a product great so i have seen what these brands are doing i've captured all the transcripts the next step once i'm sure okay the competitor research is done I'm going to use these transcripts to write new transcripts for the products that I am selling. The second part is the script writing phase. And here what I'm doing is I'm reading all the ad transcripts. I'm reading all the tra ad transcripts from the sheet here in this Google Sheets reader in my scripts subflow. I am capturing all of them together. And then here you see I have three AI nodes. Each of these AI nodes is basically, you know, a product that I'm selling. I have three products that I want to sell. So I want to write scripts for each of those products. And I want to write like five different variations. So these three AI nodes are basically giving me 15 different scripts. Okay. And the prompt that I've used, I own a skincare brand, let's say Rode. Okay. And I want to sell this particular peptide lip treatment uh, product. And uh, I have, you know, given it the complete prompt, avoid any like specific names, write it in like third party voice, uh, speak directly to the customer. And I want hook, body and CTA. That's it. That's those are the three things that I want from each script because I am trying to capture the scripts in this form. Hook, body, CTA. Similarly for my second product, hook, body cda then for my third as well hook body cda this is going to generate 15 ads let's run this one as well this will take some time and i'm using this extract to table node here all i've done is pass the google sheets link and automatically it figures out what the schema of that sheet is i'm extracting multiple rows so the ai node that i'm using here i've asked it to write five different variations okay of uh, these ads so you can see write five ads that have strong hooks from the transcript from all the examples that we've seen that our competitors are running and obviously we have given it like some basic intelligence about ad copywriting so three products 15 ads uh it has started to write okay one particular is done okay this particular so the daily cleanser face wash uh we have written five ads here and now i'll show you how you can turn these ads okay so hook body cta combine them together let's say i copy these although you can generate you can pass on these scripts as well i'll show you how you can do this within gum loop as well okay i have talked about this in my previous video so this is reading scripts capturing all of these hook body cta one script together i pull all like all the 
the complete body of my ad in one single go and then i give it to arcad's video creator where i select the actor and the situation that i want to use another form that i want you to like uh, use because this is like probably the better way to use arcad's as well so if i use let's say i'm you i'm in my folder here uh, this is the project this is my company okay i have a bunch of folders uh, let's say in this particular case i have this skincare folder where all my ads are going to reside this is the new project that i'm using so if i do new project so it creates a new script like this here and all i need to do is copy paste the entire thing and now i'm going to choose the actor okay so if this is a skincare brand i'm going to choose a young female actor okay and i can choose as many as i want so i will be able to create like multiple uh, ads so let's say we have uh, one uh, one creator here okay uh second third you can see four selected here okay so let me remove her okay so skincare 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 let's say the five selected six selected that's it i have add actors so i've got like six uh four five six yes six different actors selected all i need to do is look at here like generate six videos click here checking your content and for this particular script i'll have you can see six videos created here similarly i can do this for all the different five ads that i have here so 5 6 30 and i have like 30 30 30 90 for some of the videos i can select let's say seven or eight actors that means i can generate 8 5 40 40 40 30 40 40 40 40 120 you decide how many you want you one thing that i really like about this platform is you can choose let's say if you have some sort of like formal brand if you want a particular situation you can filter that from their side panel so i have situation i have accessories i have emotion all of these can be captured and based on this particular you know filtering option i'll create different variations and that is how you can create 100 plus ugc ai ads in just like you know it'll take a couple of minutes and you can simply upload to your meta ads manager account and start running your ads i hope you enjoyed this one and this is like really really powerful tool i am helping a lot of my clients with these workflows so give this a thumbs up comment down below what other workflows what other automations you would want to see and i'll create that for you see you guys in the next one